Howard is a pit bull trained to sniff out explosives. Alex Reimer lives in Colorado and says he was the dog's first handler. Reimer remembers Howard alerting on a van in Afghanistan with weapons and explosives which saved lives. You know, he saved not only my life, but you know, there was weapons in that van that night that could have been turned on us and there could have been you know, there could have been an IED in there and there was an IED in that same van two days later that saved some other people's lives. Reimer hasn't seen the dog since 2013. He recently located Howard at a home in Fayetteville and had a friend go by and check on him. Reimer claims the dog was tethered to a tree in a backyard. He says that's not the way a dog that saved American lives should be treated. The former soldier says he suffers from PTSD and feels having Howard back would help him heal. You know, dream about the, the times that me and Howard had together overseas, you know, the rough times and the good times. and It's just, it's tough knowing your, your best friend is out there tied to a tree or not being taken care of to the best of the ability. You know, he and I were having a conversation. Dion Fuller says that's not so. He's a Hope County Sheriff's deputy, but worked at the Taylortown Police Department in Moore County when he acquired Howard. He says the dog is living with a loving family. As of right now, I'm saying at the end of the day, Howard is my dog, and he is home with myself and my family. Animal Control investigated the allegations of mistreatment and say Howard is being cared for well. Fuller says a Facebook page called Bring Howard Home has been filled with threatening messages aimed at him and his family. You've seen a page or pages. There's so much going on. I think um, a lot of damage has been done.